What's up guys? Back with another video. Finally got these fucking braces in. I've been waiting like two and a half weeks for these. This will be the front strut brace and then the rear hatch brace. Um, I gotta run to the store to get a what's it called? Windshield wiper or puller to make the front one go a lot easier and I can get the camera in there and show you guys. All of it's pretty simple. You just bolt it on. You don't have to cut nothing. You don't have to measure nothing. Uh, all the hardware is there. New hardware. Uh, yeah, let's, let's open it. Well, as it turns out, it looks like they only sent me the front and I bought both. I'm gonna give them a call here real quick and see what's going on. Uh, Cause I have the autocross event this weekend, so I guess either way it don't matter. I, I guess I'll just wait for it to get done. Yeah. Okay, I'll make to the your order for you, so thank you for that. Well, that sucks. I guess if I even leave the clip in here, the rear brace is still in anodizing or in, or it's still on the CNC machine and then it needs to get anodized. So they sent out the front ones to people that ordered them. Kind of blows. So I've autocrossed this weekend and the rear brace is what I was really looking forward to the most. Um, well, at least I'll be able to show you guys the front one. I'll make another video on the back that's going to be like two minutes long. Um, Damn. All right. Well, I'm going to take a few laps around town. I'm still breaking in my clutch. I'm like 330 miles in out of the 500 and go grab a uh, windshield wiper puller and then we'll throw this on and I'll let you know how it feels. I read a bunch of review reviews today at work, just like hyping myself up, getting ready to install this. And they said the front piece is really the main thing and the back just kind of complements it. So it said the, the, the steering feel in general is just like totally different, the load on the suspension and turns, you're able to have like a more accurate line and uh, less understeer. So, yeah, that's, I mean, that's still great. I really wanted the rear brace though, I wanted to do both, but what can you do? Can't do nothing about it. Got autocross this weekend. And well, he said, even if I got it not anodized, it still wouldn't be here until after this week. So, oh well, maybe it'll come in before we head out to Houston next week. Doubt it, but. Oh well. All right, I went out to Harbor Freight. They didn't have anything. I wound up going to AutoZone, getting a little doohickey like this. They call it a gear puller. It was like 10 bucks. This will make it so you can take uh, the windshield wipers off without beating up your hands real bad or scratching a bunch of shit. Um, now you don't have to take it off. It just makes it a lot easier. And for me making the video on this, I wanted to be able to show things. So I bought it. All right guys, so first things first, um, there's supposed to be a clip here, I'm missing mine. There should be one in the middle. I'm also missing that one apparently, but there is one right here. I'm gonna pull the one I do have out. I didn't know I was missing three. Um, you're gonna pull those out. We're gonna pull the rubber guy off because it like kind of connects these two where they connect in the middle. Pull that off, lay it to the side. Uh, this side should actually come right up. You don't have to worry about the wiper over here. It kind of like clicks down into the seal uh, this plastic piece does. We'll lift that up, slide it, it slides, this slides into there under it. Get this one out. Now the other side is the one we got to deal with with the puller. So you'll pull this plastic cap off. Take this nut, I believe it's a 13 mil. Pull the wiper off. I'm going to mark up here with a piece of tape so I know where the windshield wiper sits. I'll probably do it right here actually. Um, so it'll be aligned back perfectly and then we'll take off this other plastic piece Then we can get to the nuts on the strut and put the plates on Now if you have a car that has coilovers uh, You could be doing it like me if you don't have coilovers you're on sock suspension um, You actually have bolts to go in to your strut rather than I have nuts So my my threads stick up out yours are yours are a nut um, it says to jack the car up on both sides, but still have the tires on the ground. When you take your bolts out, the, the strut might move a little bit since nothing's holding it in place anymore. Um, so you, you would get like a screwdriver or a punch 
and then uh, realign your holes for when you put the new hardware in. It comes with all new um, bolts because they're, they're supposed to be uh, one time use for the strut. Uh, and it comes with all new all new hardware, so you don't have to worry about it. And it gives you the torque specs, and you're supposed to use some Loctite. But uh, yeah, let's get this let's get this wiper off. Holy shit, that was a real pain in the ass to get that middle one out. Um, so what I wind up doing, since the tip of this is like that, and you're sitting on the top of a you know some threads there, and this just kind of wanted to spin off and kept. You know, kept falling off. So I threaded the nut on like two threads, and then this would sit in here. So as I was tightening it, it didn't have anywhere to go, and it finally popped out. Thank God I'm thinking of good ideas in this shit. But now we can pull this off and, uh, and get to work. Now that that's out, don't mind my terrible cuts. I need to go back over those eventually. But, uh, this is nice and open. Like I said, you don't need to take that out. I'm just gonna have a pain in the ass and 10 bucks to do it. But um, next is to get out your bolts. As you can see, mine are studs with nuts on them. Yours will not look like that if you're still stuck. Now that that's placed in, it look real nice. Um, I'm just gonna put my washers and my nuts back on. Next step, you're going to thread your rod ends into your rod. The, the left side is actually stamped with an L, and it's reverse threaded on that side. So beware of that. You're not going crazy. It's reverse threaded. And uh, the mounts they just put on, they're just hand tight for now. Don't torque them down. I wound up changing the washers out from the ones that came with my BCs to the ones that came with this because... They're, the ones with the BCs are real big and it was kind of hitting um, the welds where it's welded to attach to this. So make sure the left side's on the left side. You want to stick your hardware in. These ones use two washers, one on each side. It's a six mil and I think maybe a 12 or 13. We'll find out. From here, the order gets a little weird. So you're gonna tighten the most inboard bolts on the, the 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 brace itself to almost tight, and then you're gonna torque down your strut bolts, and then you're gonna go back up, turn the bar until you feel resistance, and then torque down all four bolts up top, and then take a wrench to it and tighten it again another 90 degrees, and then torque down the four bolts again. So it's like 13 foot pounds and 16 foot pounds uh, for the bar itself. Really weird order of operation, but I'm not an engineer, so. <laughs> So like I said, you're gonna do the in, inboard ones, uh, hand tight basically. It's gonna be more than hand tight because they're lock washers, but just kind of tight on there. Then you're gonna turn the bar towards you, towards the front of the car like this, until you feel some resistance. I went a little bit more than that. Um, then you're gonna tighten down the, um, which we call it, the struts to 16 foot pounds, and then go back up, tighten both sides to 13 foot pounds on the bar itself and then take a wrench it was a 21 millimeter it says in there like 15 16 or some shit 21 millimeter fits uh pull it towards you another 90 so you're you're tightening it and like i said the left side is reverse thread so when you're turning it towards you it pushes both of them out and when you're going away it pulls the bar in or the, the end links in um and then you tighten them down again to another 16 foot pounds and you're done for the bar itself. I'll get a close up for you guys here and then you just reinstall your plastics, put your windshield wipers back on. Hopefully you mark them so you know um, where they went. Uh, don't forget to put your caps on and then go for a drive. I'm gonna go for a drive and let you guys know how it feels initially. Like I said, I'm still breaking my clutch in so I can't go too hard in the turns, but um, 
I'll throw the GoPro on if there isn't any traffic. There's been every time I went to my little spot that I've been going to on my route around town, um, there's been traffic today. So we'll see. Here she is when she's in saw. Like I said, don't mind my ugly cuts, but uh, yeah, this hardware and everything's real nice. The left side says left on it. Um, Clean the bay up a little bit the other day, so it looks semi decent. Soon there'll be a fuel kit and uh, an EQT turbo back here. But if you look at the other side, it looks pretty much the exact same, just worse cuts. Um, yeah, be kind of a pain in the ass to do with that plastic on, but you could definitely get it done. That's pretty much it for the install. Um, I'm going to wrap up my tools here and uh, Go for a nice little drive, put some more miles on this clutch, probably make a couple laps around town. Uh, I don't know if the girlfriend's gonna come with me, but either way, I'm gonna bring this camera. Um, I'm not gonna be able to like, hold the camera and take a turn to really tell you how it feels, but I'll throw the GoPro on, you'll be at least able to hear me. Um, probably shot with joy. I'm really hoping this feels as good as they say it does. Let's go try it out. Only 156.4 miles until Clutch is officially broken in. Nice little neighborhood. Oh god, it feels good. Probably shouldn't be like flying through here. I'm kind of being an asshole right now. But uh, I forgot there's like some, some snaky turns here. I got the GoPro going. Probably shouldn't really, really get in the car either. But it feels good. I'd say it's definitely more of an improvement over the uh, Tyrol kit. First turn coming in that we didn't really get on camera on was the best. It felt really, really good. I have the steering in normal. Um, I'm gonna put it in race mode and go backwards and see how it feels as well. But uh, wow, I didn't think it would be that much of a difference. But it's definitely more than the Tyrol dead set kit, um, which did help a lot. That was that was definitely a good a good mod to have. Um, I'm not really gonna be able to tell tell until we get onto the track this weekend, but there's great. The little bit that I am doing here it feels really, really good. Um, of course, the kit isn't complete. I don't have the rear one yet, but the steering feel just just for the front is is great. Uh, I'm very happy. <laughs> very, very happy. stay like stock struts and throw some uh, springs on uh, maybe do this after that and some bushings to along to go with it and a, and a dead set kit um, if you really want some better steering feel hell yeah coming back to you guys a day later um, still super excited about this brace it's doing wonders took some more turns and, and whatnot it feels fucking phenomenal um, like I said, it wouldn't be my very first thing to do. I wouldn't save it for last either. I definitely put this on your list. I'll have the link down this in the description for this um, for these braces. Um, the real test is going to be this Sunday at Autocross. We have the opening season, SCCA, and Amarillo on Sunday. So uh, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe so you can see that video. I'm going to make like the whole thing like a vlog style. Um, thing at the track or at the event not just like clips of people driving so i'm going to be talking about all the parts and and everything that i've done the past month or so or two months however over the winter um this is definitely going to be a big contender i'll definitely be talking about this more i actually just got bumped up from uh b street to uh street modified so i'm in a whole entirely different class not that it really matters because i'm aiming to like try and get first at everything anyway but uh it definitely ups the competition a bit hopefully all this stuff really pays off here uh, we're gonna find out 
like I said, just stay tuned. Um, that video should be up Monday. And uh, yeah, definitely put this on your list. Definitely, definitely. It's a world of difference. I'm kind of upset I didn't do it sooner, but it's in now and I'm happy. That's all I got for you guys. Uh, stay tuned for more shit and I'll catch you on the flip flop.